This is 7 News First at 4. Now on 7 News at 4 o'clock, police making another crucial connection in a deadly boating accident that took the life of a teen. The driver of the boat that struck her has now been identified. The 15-year-old was wakeboarding in Biscayne Bay when she was killed in the water. Days later, several major breaks in the investigation. 7's Jessica Holly is in Coral Gables with what we've learned today. She's got her top story. Jessica. Every day we're learning a little bit more about what led to the death of 15 year old Ella Adler. Yesterday, FWC confirming they found the boat involved parked behind this house in Coral Gables. Now we're learning the owner of this home was the captain that day. A day after investigators confiscate this boat, they are now naming the person who was operating it on the day of the fatal collision. 78 year old Carlos Alonzo, who also owns the Coral Gables home where the boat was docked Tuesday. We tried to talk to the family. Wednesday afternoon, Alonzo left the home covering his face. So far, there are no charges in this case. Meanwhile, Tuesday, the first lady and her police motorcade were at the home of the teen who was killed. Dr. Jill Biden visiting the family of 15 year old Ella Adler, the granddaughter of the U.S. ambassador to Belgium, Michael Adler. Ella Adler was killed Saturday. She was wakeboarding in Biscayne Bay and had just fallen into the water when investigators say another boat hit her and kept going. We don't know if the, 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 the person who hit her even knows he hit her. We don't know the answer to that at this point. After FWC announced they had found the boat, the family of Ella Adler released a statement expressing their gratitude for the hard work of law enforcement. They also offered this about the visit from the First Lady. We are honored that the First Lady paid a shiva call to our family during this time of immense pain. We are touched by their support and love, and we are proud to call the President and First Lady our friends for over 40 years. Wednesday, Ella School, Ransom Everglades, posting this picture. Classmates painting the cannon with her name, purple hearts and ballerinas, writing friends and classmates of Ella Adler, class of 2027, love and miss her deeply. And again, at this point, no word of any charges or citations related to that fatal crash, but the investigation is not over yet. We're live in Coral Gables, Jessica Holly, 7 News.